Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're in the Huey today. Now I haven't flown this thing for God knows how long, probably, I don't know, four or five months or something. So I'm really looking forward to getting back in the cockpit. Now we've had loads of people ask if we can do a tutorial on basic flying. So we've done a tutorial on guns and stuff like that and the startup procedure. But basic flying people are struggling with and I don't, uh, I'm not really surprised. It's very fly by the seat of your pants type affair there's very little to help you in the in terms of um, avionics fly by wire and stuff like that so um, it's a bit like a warbird it's it's tough to get used to but once you get used to it it's very rewarding much more rewarding than something more modern like a ka50 which is a lot easier okay so let's go over a few things first of all we've got our flight controls shown at the top left here in the red so if I move my cyclic, uh, well we've got four controls that we're interested in. We've got cyclic roll, and you can see I'm moving the joystick cyclic left and right there. I've got a cyclic uh, pitch, and you can see I'm moving cyclic pitch there. I've got rudder left and right, and that is the rudder left you can see. So this is what you'll be looking at in this box today. And we've got collective, which is a bit like throttle, and you can see I'm moving that up there. Those are what we're interested in. And we've got two types of flying, if you like. We've got with trimmer and without trimmer. Uh, first of all, we're going to do without trimmer. Uh, that's how I learned to fly. And then afterwards, we'll do it again with the trimmer. So the first of all, we're going to do a lift off and a hover in position. Uh, and the hover, we're just going to do a couple of feet off the ground. Um, so as soon as we start putting collective and lifting off, uh, the thing is going to want to drag to the right, isn't it? And we've got to correct with the left, left rudder. It's going to want to correct to the left, is it? No, you're right, person. <laughs> it's gonna, so the torque of the blades are going to want to drag this thing right. Um, a bit like a warbird, it tries to twist the thing to the right. So we're going to have to add rudder, left rudder. You can see we're adding left rudder there to compensate. It's also going to add in a bit of forward motion. So we're going to have to add backwards pitch as well to counter that. So let's start adding cyclic in. Sorry, um, collective in and see what it wants to do. And I can feel it's going to twist to the right. So I'm going to click, I'm going to correct rudder to the left. And I can see it's when it goes forward and right. So I'm going to cyclic left. Ooh, easy now. Okay, so I'm holding that there. You can see what I'm having to do. It's better than I can explain it. I'm having to do a bit of pitch back, a bit of uh, uh, roll left, and a bit of rudder left. And I can roughly hold that in position. So what we'd normally do now is put our trimmer in, uh, which would basically save these uh, settings, these control settings, and essentially neutralize them. But for the time being, I'm going to uh, try the trimmer later. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is hold this position, but start adding a bit of, um, uh, let's, let's say, uh, right lateral. So I want to move laterally to my right. So I'm going to start adding a bit of right pitch in here. I'm holding my current rudder settings. And the rudder settings we've only got to hold whilst we're essentially moving very slowly. If we're moving forward or backwards very high, very fast, we won't have to hold these rudder settings. So you can see technically we're still um, actually doing right uh, left pitch but it's enough that we can send us going left now we're going to transition to left um, uh, left pitch and move left just watch those trucks behind you so we're going left pitch now i'm going to sidestep to the left so again if you can see on my uh, control uh, display on the left the movements we're putting are absolutely tiny like a couple of millimeters maximum okay now we're going to try going forward so that's backwards for you rally so i'll let you get going first very slowly because we can easily get ugly when you go backwards so i'm just allowing a tiny bit of um of uh, pitch forward i know i keep saying pitch i mean roll before uh, now I mean pitch. So a tiny bit of pitch forward for me. Okay. And now we're going to reverse that. I'm going to start moving backwards and you can start moving forwards. It'll take me a while, so just uh, hold your horses. And then we've got back. So again, if you're looking at my control movements on the, uh, on the red at the top, the movements are very small. Okay, I'm going to neutralize that now. 
nose down and I gotta land once I've neutralized it and landing here and landing neutralize the stick neutralize the rudder okay so that was doing it without trimming so I had to hold the rudder in a certain position all the time and I had to hold the control stick uh, the pitch and the roll um, all the time in that certain position um, so I wasn't making it easy on myself and that's how I learned to fly I advise learning to fly like that it just gets really good practice for all of your aircraft especially formation and stuff like that um, when we were sidestepping left to sidestepping right um, it was the roll that we were changing I think I was saying pitch but it was actually the roll forwards and backwards that was the pitch okay before we transition transition to fast forwards and backwards flight the next thing we're going to do is uh, do the same as before but with the trimmer so the trimmer is just one button that we need to press let's go and have a look at it here it's we've got pilot trimmer here and to cancel that we've got trimmer reset okay it's just the press it's just a button that you press once and that's it it will hold so uh, let's take off again and get in a hold and when we're in a hold we can sit switch to trim it on so rather left pitch back roll slightly left let's get into a hole uh, a uh, hole so let's get to where we feel comfortable that is a pretty good hold there so i'm going to go now trim up wait a bit trim it is now on so you can see I'm I'm now hands off stick I'm completely hands off it's the trimmer that's essentially saved my settings there um, of pitch roll and rudder and you can see it's slightly off because it's moving me about so I can move to, so you can use tiny corrections in the stick but essentially it's got me trimmed and we're gonna repeat now we're gonna go to my right we're gonna sidestep so it's much easier now because we've got the trimmer set and sidestepping it's a bit like dancing so all I'm adding is a tiny bit of um, roll control basically okay and that's reverse to left sidestep much so it's much easier with a bit of trimmer on Um, to keep going once we've passed these trucks then we'll do backwards keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going a few more degrees okay Ella you can start going backwards now cap will go forwards okay Let's start swapping that round. I'm going to go nose up now. I'm going to start going backwards. Uh, now, uh, be very cautious when going backwards, guys. Uh, going backwards is very dangerous for Huey. Easily get out of control. So if you're going to go backwards, go at just a couple of knots like this, walking pace. Don't zoom backwards fast. You'll never recover and you'll crash. As long as we go slow like this, we can keep it all under control and correct. Okay. I'm going to go nose forward and then I'm going to land when I'm stable. Uh, to land, I'm going to go reduce collective, reduce collective, and down. Collective off. And then trim a reset. You can see it's reset my pitch, roll, and rudder. Okay, so that's basic slow movements using trimmer and not using trimmer. So before we get into fast movements, uh, I guess we better have a little look at VRS. VRS, do you know what it stands for? Because I've forgotten. Uh, no, I've forgotten as well. <laughs> so VRS is the bane to all uh, helicopter pilots' lives. It's the equivalent of a stall. So in a jet or in a, in a fixed-wing aircraft, if you go too slow, then your wings stop producing lift and you fall out of the sky. Helicopters have exactly the same thing. You can get into a situation where the rotor blades stop producing lift and you fall out of the sky. And it's even more dangerous and more prolific than aircraft stalls. Um, now, to get in a VRS, it's not by going slowly. Going slowly is not the problem. It's basically getting in your own downwash. So, um, Allo, can you get up and fly in front of me and try to, on purpose, get yourself in VRS? 
Okay, we'll try. I'm gonna try. I know we're kind of like we're training ourselves not to get in VRS, so it's gonna be kind of hard. But I'm gonna watch. It doesn't, and you can crash or you can recover. It doesn't really matter to be honest. So um, he can sit there. He can hover all day. That's fine. But it's when he gets moving. Um, so get some altitude. And the best way to learn is by doing it by trial and error, unfortunately, and crashing a few airframes. It's where you get in a position where you're producing a lot of downwash uh, and you're transitioning from moving to stationary. That's generally where you get into VRS, as where you don't have enough power on to transition to um, hold. And he's done a real like, harsh example. Yep, never saw that. So you can see he was moving, and to move, when you move, you uh, 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 when you're moving forwards, you reduce your collective quite a lot. You don't need collective, a lot of collective when you're moving. And when you're transitioning to a uh, kind of static flight, you, where you need much more, high, a much higher amount of collective, you can easily get into that VRS zone. So I'm going to go and try it now. I'm going to try and get the VRS on purpose. So let me get airborne. I'm going to head away a bit. So the easiest way to do it is fly fast yeah. and then pull back and cut your throttle. Exactly, yeah. So I'm going to now try and transition to level flight and my throttle is the same. So what could go wrong here? Well, I there, there it was, it was VRS there and I managed to recover. So let's go again. So let's trans, so we're going to go forwards fast. And you can easily get VRS by sidestepping or, or going um, uh, by going backwards as well. So I've got my throttle set for forward flight. It's about 60% collective. And let's try transitioning to static flight. And there it is, really extreme VRS. So it was a, um, I don't really know how to explain it with words. I'm sure there's gonna be, be people out better out there explaining it. But it's when you get into a certain transitioning from fast to slow, you see Aloe's just got in it as well. You get in stuck in your own downwash and it, it, uh, it kind of um, exacerbates itself exponentially and you end up literally falling out of the sky with no lift at all. Uh, you can prevent yourself getting from that by adding plenty of collective before VRS happens. Okay, once you're in VRS, in the full teeth of VRS, you can't get out of it, you're pretty much gonna die. Uh, so let's just have a look at how to recover from it. It's all about looking at your vertical speed indicator, which is that gauge there. As long as you can keep a good eye on that, you'll never get into VRS. So I'm gonna try and get myself into VRS again. What the first thing that's gonna happen is that vertical speed gauge is gonna slam down. And as long as you catch it kind of before it starts getting below 1,000 feet per second, I think that's a thousands of feet per second, sorry, minute, thousands of feet per minute, um, and add plenty of collective, then um, you'll get out of it. So let's try and get ourselves in VRS. I think that's the VRS there, yep. So I've just spotted it's above 1,000 feet. Oh, no, I'm gonna get it in time. Boom, dead. Okay, let's gonna do that again. So again, fix your eyes to that vertical uh, gate, uh, vertical speed indicator. So as soon as it gets, as soon as it gets to 1,000 feet per minute or below, you've got to slam that, um, that collective up and you'll be able to control it. All right, let's get moving. Okay, so we're moving now. Gonna try and get ourselves in VRS now. Nose up. So this is a bit like spooling a plane, really. And that's 1,000 full power. And we just saved that one. You saw the needle on the vertical speed indicator was um, just getting towards 1,000. So I slammed that to full power, and you can see we got out of the VRS. So we can do that all day, but that's it's really good practice, that, because that's the biggest killer of helicopters. Uh, is VRS much bigger than being shot at or anything like that okay um, uh, one mental note is when you put your throttle up or you put your collective up don't slam it up really quickly like uh, most well model planes like um, any Warbird P51 Mustang anything like that if you slam your throttle up really quickly uh, it'll probably kill your engine so don't do that it's just a nice if you watch the uh, control stick there it's just a nice assertive aggressive up like that but no faster Otherwise, that'll be your engine gone. Right, Allo, that is VRS covered. I guess it is just fast flight now. So, I'm gonna follow you. You start working your way into level flight. 
um, and we'll go into some fast flight in some valleys and trees and stuff uh, try and stick away from the max speed because that means I won't be able to catch up uh, viewers you can watch my box control box up there to see what I do it's better than me trying to explain it any particular place you want to go? not really just um, anything that's going to look cool really Okay. Are you going to use your trimmer? Uh, I'll just... No, I'll just fly nowhere. Okay, I'm going to use my trimmer for this. So I've actually set my trimmer as it is now, as my controls are now. Now the first thing you'll see is I don't need to use my rudder anymore. As soon as we're moving above kind of 30, 40 knots, the, um, the, the torque of the motor no longer really has an effect, and so we don't have to cancel it out with the rudder. So, it's, so when we're flying, essentially... Uh, speed, it's almost like flying an aeroplane and she's a joy to fly. It's only transitioning to slow speed that ever really will become a problem. Now I can see Ella's getting away from me, so what I'm going to do is collective up, nose down, retrim, trimmer retrimmed, and we'll start reeling him in. And essentially you can fly in formation just like with uh, any fixed wing aircraft. I really would like to use the bird in a in a mission, but the thing is, it's just not practical. It's so slow. Um, getting from one place to another at 100 knots takes forever. Great to fly, though. If you can fly a Huey, you can fly anything. The Huey definitely tries to kill you on every input. Yep. Well, I like it. Same reason why I like the spit. You constantly have to, even on a ferry, you constantly have to work constantly not to die. The only thing is, when you go and fly, under, fly, fly a modern plane, like an eagle or something after this, it seems just really boring. And safe. So I'll take it around this building and then we can do a fast pass over there. Yeah, do that and then we'll take it back and do a formation landing. Start flying the Huey again. <laughs> okay, hello. If you take it back to our parking spot, please, we'll try and go in for a nose to nose landing because it'll be cool. Or whatever we decide to do. So, here's another thing as well. Yeah, coming in for landing. So, we've got to reduce speed, and reducing speed is very dangerous in the Huey. So, it's where we've got to have full concentration. Constantly looking out for VRS, constantly looking at our, at our vertical uh, speed indicator gauge, looking for the Huey, because the Huey at this point is trying to kill you in every way that she can. Watch, as soon as we get slow enough, the torque's going to come back and we're going to need to add, start adding rudder. Plenty of nose up. Watch for VRS. Feel what she's doing. What's she trying to do? That's VRS coming in there. Full power. Saved. Right. 
we've got the rudder problem now, so let's uh, start filling in the rudder. And let's try and equal that out. Let's try and face each other. And then land. Not bad, considering I've flown that in the five months or so. Right, so I've tried to show you the hard things there that are, you know, the difficult things to do there in a Huey, the simple things, how we do it, what control input we put in, and so what. So I hope that helps. If there's anything else we can do to help, let us know. Otherwise, we will see you later.